like when you first come to the job site, are you taping? Yeah, go ahead. When you first come to the job site, the, the foam is basically sunburned or uh, has this residue on it from UV rays. So what you do, you take a, a good piece of sandpaper or a rough poured sandpaper and you sand it. And you sand it all, all yellow off the wall, which we did all the way along this wall already. And you keep sanding all the yellow right off of it, and that makes the wall nice and flat and smooth. So the uh, brown coat will adhere properly on it. Then I take a water hose and rinse the, the foam off. So that gets all the dust out of the cracks and uh, all the little particles of your foam residue off the wall. Then the next step, I come in and measure my um, mesh. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Right. <laughs> but uh, then you take your base coat and you apply it on first prior to the mesh. So you come in and you put a, a thin coat of brown on, on the wall. This can be either sprayed sprayed on with a machine or hand and hand and hot trial. Tight, smooth, smooth coat to where your foam will hang on to it. And one more knock over. And while you do your first coat like that, you're pushing the trial into the into the foam and all the mud in the base real good and tight. Then um, and you put your mesh on. And what you do, you kind of mark it at least two inches over on an overlap. Good and straight. Always start at your center of your foam or your mesh and work out so you don't get any wrinkles. Bed that right down. started over here with your second coat. And this is called a, le a leveling coat for your, your mesh. So it's actually embedded between two layers of, of this product. Make that look easy, Dan. Yeah, it just kind of goes on. So, so Dan, what would you do then after this coat? Okay, so after you get this on, so far out, with the... glass float or a green float. Shake it out pretty dry because this floats really nice. So then you go over it and you just float it out to where the sand comes up through the top. That way the, the finished product will be able to bond bond, which is an acrylic, it has the grip of the sand for a mechanical bond. <laughs> 